Figure Force is the codename of four daring, middle-aged, highly obsessed toy vloggers. Its purpose, to bring toy reviews and nostalgia to YouTube, a video sharing website that allows users to upload, view, share and comment. Hi, I'm Rudy Sassou, and this is the Mint on Card Challenge. So, I set myself the challenge of finding a Mint on Card action figure. I did give myself a couple of guidelines, you know, a minimal spend, something vintage, and it didn't necessarily have to be something that was already in my collection or something unheard of, that would be a pure bonus. So, I found, from 1993, Playmates, Seacrest DSV, Captain Nathan Bridger, for the tiny sum of £1.99. Yeah, a complete mint on seal card, action figure, vintage, for less than £2. And it's incredible. I can't believe how good this is. I didn't even know this TV show had a toy range. You know, the, the show, which like, I think it ran from 93 to I think maybe 96, had a couple of seasons, lost its main like lead actor and became Sequest 2032. But yeah, no, absolutely no idea that there was action figures for this TV show. A TV show which I absolutely loved. 1993, I must have been like 15, Saturday afternoons, Rainy Saturday afternoons, I was like nothing more than turning on ITV and watching WCW Worldwide for an hour and then whichever kind of sci-fi action show would be on. And in 93, Sequest DSV came out. And it was just an incredible show. It had really high production values. Great actors, you know, they got um, Brody from uh, Jaws to star in it, you know, that was a pretty big, big draw getting Roy Scheider to, to star in, in it and I love, I love that actor, you know, he was great in Blue Thunder and obviously as Brody in Jaws. And I've not really seen him on TV or in any films for a good while. So to see that actor and various other actors dip into the show is really, really cool. If you haven't seen Sequest DSV, I suggest taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane and watch it because it's... The plots are really good, the special effects are really good, the, you know, the themes are incredible. It's, it's a real piece of kind of 90s TV in that kind of global warming, you know, damaging the planet kind of thing that happened in the early 90s. And to be honest, if you like Star Trek The Next Generation, it's pretty much a carbon copy of, of that formula with you know, the older distinguished gent as a captain, the very military-based commander, uh, a chief engineer, and a young boy who is obviously a gifted genius who's on there. And then you've kind of got like your your token other kind of characters, you know, the, the very strong female and a wacky kind of engineer type guy that kind of comes in here and there. Yeah, so enough about the TV show. I'm, I'm sure you want to see this little obscurity that I picked up for no money at all. So yeah, let's check out the card back. So yeah, there's not, there's a little ding and it is slightly yellowing, but you know, it's, what is it like 25 years old, this thing? And this is crazy. 
And yeah, there we have Roy Scheider himself, decked up in the uniform that they wear. He didn't always wear the uniform. And it just, it oozes just pure 90s action figures. You know, this is, I kind of remember it looking like the Prince of Thieves kind of card backs or some of the Batman card backs that, where you've got an artistic rendition of of the show and it comes with some killer accessories done in like the kind of nautical underwater themes with the oranges and the yellow and it comes with a stand uh, and I've got to tell you some of the things that are written on this card back it is hilarious so attention collectors each figure individually numbered and you can see down at the bottom, there they are. I never remember Action Fingers really getting numbered at all. G.I. Joe and Action Force definitely didn't number their figures in a certain way. So I'm just wondering how many they actually made of this and whether, you know, stock number 1501 is high or low. But I don't, I don't really care about that. The other hilarious thing on uh, this card back is, where if I can find it, here it says Sequest display base, plug Bridger to his base to reenact classic Sequest excitement. How is putting an action figure on a stand reenacting scenes from the TV show? Surely you're going to pick it up and play with it. That's hilarious. I've never seen that on a card carded figure before. But yeah, if you have a look at the back, you can see the other characters. You've got Lucas, the child genius, and Commander Ford. Obviously, he's the more military type. You know, it's a, a war vessel, whereas everyone else is kind of like, no, it's for exploration and protecting the planet. Uh, you, I, if that's a real thing, if there is a dolphin action figure, that's hilarious because so many times... The animals in TV shows it just didn't get an action figure, but why would they, you know? In some ways, Battle Cat, a statue, but you know, you didn't get uh, Jake Rockwell's dog, Shadow, from Centurions, and they missed out a big, big opportunity there. And you get someone called The Regulator. So yeah, he's obviously, you know, the wacky guy that probably helped develop the TV show and uh, TV show, the submarine, and didn't get to kind of have any say on it becoming a military vehicle. And you also get Lieutenant J.G. O'Neill, who is Ted Raimi, who pretty much starred in every uh, of every single film of his brothers. What I will show you though and I find hilarious is the pictures of the accessories on the back are not kind of how they are in the package they are incredibly like colored they they must be like stock photos of you know what it was intended to be and then they obviously realized that they couldn't paint every single accessory to go like that look at the detail on what was this one called the CPOC, Sequest Personal Onboard Computer. Issued to all personnel for use as a notebook, daily journal, or ship's log. Which, hmm, you don't actually get it inside this. This thing is brilliant, this is so much fun. It's kind of incredible, yet kind of a little bit shit. What else do you get? Stun gun, which, that's the stun gun, all black, but in here it's kind of, yeah, it's blue and silver. And then you get the spring-powered away team launcher with undersea spelunking hook. A gun. Yeah, which is literally just black and yellow. But, you know, these are just incredible kind of pieces of nostalgia and history for me. And it's, for less than two pounds, it's an incredible addition to the collection and it was such a fun challenge to find. Whether I open it, I don't know. I'd like to keep it maybe as is for posterity. 
because I don't know if it would lose lose its magic if it was free of the plastic prison. Yeah, so that is my entry into the Mint On Card Challenge. If you fancy taking up the challenge, go for it. See what you can find out there. In today's video, I talked about Sequest DSV, a water-based science fiction TV show. But going in the water can be very dangerous. The threat of drowning is very real. That's why it's important to be aware of the rules of water safety. Don't play jokes in the water. That's a no-no. Always be sure to swim in an area where a lifeguard is watching you and never swim alone. Go with a friend. Keep your swim safe. That way you'll know you can swim another day. And knowing it's half the battle.